I wanted to start today by asking, what if you don't do the thing? If you had today or any typical day on repeat for the rest of your life, how might things turn out? What would you have accomplished? How happy would you be? Common sense tells us that if we just woke up earlier, ate more food that nourishes us, chose affirmative thoughts, moved our bodies a little more and spent more time doing the things we love, that we'd live better lives. So the real question and the real work is not understanding what's good for us because I think we already know that, but why we sometimes choose otherwise. And often that has something to do with comfort, choosing comfort. Moving past this resistance is about shifting our perception of comfort, considering the alternative, the way your life will be if you don't do the thing. So good morning. Let's make today a good day. Good morning. In 2021, I really realised the importance and the power of a good morning routine. Of course, not every morning is the same, but on the days when I can, when I have time, this is how all of my best days begin. Every morning begins with hydration, and for me these days, that means water, a ginger shot, and of course, my cup of tea. I stopped drinking coffee in the mornings around 18 months ago to see what effect it would have on my levels of energy and anxiety. And needless to say, I've never looked back. Now that we have Rue, my morning does require about three different outfit changes. It's currently about one degree outside, so this morning we're just going for something comfy and cosy. It's no secret that I like to get outside as soon after waking up as I can and it turns out the science to back up why that makes me and so many of us feel good. The world around us today, huge cities, high-rise apartments, offices and underground stations is very new to us as a species and very disconnected from the natural world. There's evidence to suggest that being surrounded by greenery, listening to the sounds of birds in the trees or the flow of a river, calms us and gives us a sense of being at home. On the way home, I stopped by my new favourite organic food store. I recently discovered this place in the outskirts of Manchester. As you know, a weekly shop for us consists of mostly fresh fruit and veg, beans, grains, legumes, tofu, and of course, chocolate. For a healthy gut and consequently a healthy body and mind, the key is variety, lots of variety. So changing up where we shop every now and then is a really fun way to achieve this. And this, well, this is just because I've kind of always wanted to be that girl that has fresh flowers in her home every week. Isn't that just the epitome of having your life together? Before I put all the shopping away, I thought I would do a little haul of everything I got at the store today. So we have broccoli, kale and bok choy, peppers, avocados, strawberries, some of these huge tomatoes, and I don't know what variety these are, but they're my favorite, sprouted mixed beans, and then purple carrots, whole grain pasta, brown rice pasta, chickpea pasta, green pea pasta, brown rice pad thai noodles, some organic bulgur wheat, black chickpeas, pinto beans, organic quinoa flakes, my favourite rye bread, some vegan basil pesto, a top up of tofu, some fennel and peppermint tea, and then finally I'm trying this raw vegan chocolate. (laughs) 
Before I jump in the shower, there is one delivery I'm really excited about from Decenio, who have kindly sponsored this part of the video. If you haven't heard of Decenio, they combine the latest trends in wall art with chic, simple, Scandinavian style frames. Decenio have such a lovely concept because the art is super affordable and you can simply swap out the pictures in the frames whenever you feel like a change. There is so much to choose from, from photographs to prints, and all in a range of sizes with matching frames. After browsing all of the options, from super beautiful neutral images to more abstract art, I decided in the end to go for three prints that really just made me happy. Prints that brighten up our home and transport me to somewhere else. While I decide on a permanent home for these three, I thought I would prop them up against the wall to add some colour to the wardrobe space in my bedroom. I have a discount code for 40% off the prints, which is Hannah Atkins. As always, my skincare really couldn't be more simple. I really do just use a moisturiser. In the day, I like to use skin food, and in the evening, I reach for this Drunk Elephant moisturiser. For my everyday makeup, I've been reaching for lighter, more cream-based products recently. This IT Cosmetics CC Cream is one of my favourites. I then follow it with the Refai Cream Bronzer and Blusher. And then for my eyes, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. Okay, so I have a new breakfast obsession, quinoa porridge. Believe it or not, I've actually been going for this over avocado toast recently. The way I make quinoa porridge is pretty much exactly the same as the way I would make regular oats. I like to make mine with oat milk and then top with dates, strawberries, peanut butter, and some of my superfood crunch. I know what you're thinking. Another girl on the internet with a five minute journal telling you it's life changing, but I promise you it is. So let me tell you how I do this part of my morning. First things first, I sit down with my cup of tea and I fill out my five minute journal. Now, I know you will have seen this journal all over Instagram, all over YouTube, but all it is is a way of making journaling and gratitude journaling specifically really, really simple and really accessible to everyone. It's a way to get into a really positive, grateful mindset, first thing in the morning and last thing at night. Then I read a chapter from my 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think book by Brianna Weist. The chapters are really short and some will appeal to you more than others, but I promise you everyone can gain something from somewhere in this book. And then it's time to take out my planner, review what I have to do today and get stuck into some work for a couple of hours. Around 11.45, before I head to the gym, I prepare a little snack for when I get home. Being more prepared with my snacks was kind of one of my resolutions for this year. When I realised we were getting through a family-sized bag of lentil crisps pretty much every day, I thought it was probably time to try and mix up our snacks a little bit. You know, I've realised recently that I don't think I was ever much of a morning workout girl. I feel like a good day for me often starts with a slightly slower morning. 
So I've been really enjoying midday workouts and specifically going to classes. At the moment, I'm doing yoga twice a week and Pilates twice a week. So I'm gonna head down and get stuck into some yoga now. So thank you for spending my morning with me. I hope that you're able to find a little bit of time for you each morning. Whether that's a quiet moment before the world wakes up, a hot cup of coffee on your morning commute or a sunrise yoga class. Because all of you deserve a little bit of magic in your morning. And before you go into your day today, just take a minute to ask yourself, what if you don't do the thing? 